Welcome to Practice Strokes. Today, we're going to practice and do a sunflower with a few extra little petals. What I want to share with you is that I have yellow ochre and I have daffodil yellow. And you can see these are the folk art multi-surface. And this has it on the lid usually. And that's, there are some different label looks, but I just want you to see that it's multi-surface. When we need um, a medium, as folk art floating medium, I, we shouldn't need a medium today. We're gonna use my value pack of brushes, which is, this is my a quarter inch scruffy. It's natural hairs. And then this is a very dirty number 12 flat. And this is what we're gonna use for all of our petals. So I'm just gonna show you um, step by step on a foam plate so that I can work in here onto the, the scruffy brush. Now, if you use, um, you can use a smaller size, but I just want it large so you can see, okay? Now, this is a bark brown. I need a lighter brown. So I might put some coffee latte with this and burn umber, okay? Now, we used to have maple maple syrup, which was a little redder, you know, so I just want you to see how this is. Now, what I'm going to do is dry scruffy brush. You never use a scruffy brush wet. I'm going to pounce, like you're going to divide this like it was like you cracked an egg. See the oval? All right, so we're going to pounce one side, one end, and then we're going to come over here and pounce the other end. All right. Never dip into the paint, okay, for the scruffy. Now, this is one I want to show you. The light's up. So I'm going to come here so hopefully you can see well. I'm going to go one, 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 two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to come down to the lower half of this. And I'm going to start here seven, eight, nine, 10, across this way. Now this is multimedia board, so it's really dry. So it's soaking that up really good. But what I want you to see is it looks like a chocolate donut with chocolate frosting. All right, now while that's wet, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come a little bit closer. There we go. While that's wet, you're gonna take and dampen your 12 and you're gonna grab both colors. Now we don't have to worry about um, loading it into the brush, um, inside the bristles. All we're gonna do is touch this wet, push down with pressure and then stand up, all right? Now I'm gonna come over here almost every stroke, push while that's wet, push, push. Now I got three of them. So I'm gonna come get more and come over here. Now see all those streaks? Look at those streaks. See, that's what you wanna see. So with traditional painting, uh, like toll painting, there's so many steps to do what I just did because you would do the light and then you'd come back with the dark and shade. Then you would do your center and that would take a couple of steps. And then you would take a little script liner and pull all those lines in. So this is a perfect example of one stroke painting that you blend shade and highlight with every stroke. Now, if I started getting dry, I would just come back and tap this, okay? And because if you're not moving as fast as I am, that might be hard now uh, to get all the way around. Now look, I touch the wet, pressure grabs the brown, stand up, stand up, stand up, and then slide to a tip. All right, push, stand up, slide. All right, now this is what you want. You wanna see all those streaks going around and you don't want all the petals to be a sundial going one way. You wanna pick up all the different um, streaks that you can while it's wet. Now I can come right in here, push down and curl one up. Okay, 
push here and do another one. And even on a chisel, see that? All right. So I can also, now this is what you want. This is your practice strokes. You're going to go pressure, turn slightly, and then slide. All right. The pressure should make that round there and then slide. All right. Now, if you take and you turn and twist, coming up into there, you get a pedal that looks like it curves. All right. Now, to finish this, I should have done this before I got carried away before I did those, because now what I need to do is everywhere that it is um, kind of messy looking there, where I had to come in there and uh, go in to my brown, I'm going to repound. And this is another, another step in traditional painting. You then have to come and dot around here all these little teeny specks, all right, with little dots. And see, I can do this all with this wet brush. I can also come in here with a scruffy and get a little bit of yellow ochre. By the way, this all should have been done before I added these little petals on top. So then I can come in here and lightly tap a highlight. Can you see that little highlight? So all that is, is on this wet brush, adding a little yellow ochre. Now, there's one more thing you can do. You can come in here and grab the paint again, and you can add another layer coming around of little petals to make it look like a fuller sunflower. But I might want to put a little bit more, a little bit more, okay? You would also do this before you repounced it. I'm just showing you different options you could do. See how that comes around? Isn't that kind of fun? That is traditionally one stroke painting. You blend shading your highlighting all at once. Now I do need to retap right there. Okay, so there you go. Now, I want to have you please come and join our Donna Dewberry's official One Stroke group and share your practice and share where you're at so that everybody can see what you're doing and they can be inspired, all right? And I can critique you too. They, they will give you really positive reinforcement. You can use licorice in there or the burnt umber like I just did. Now, that's a sunflower. Thank you. Mm -hmm.